Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Just recently I've heard a story about AMD Radeon 200 and 300 series being mutually compatible when it comes to Crossfire and that's the reason why you can see one model of R9 380 and one model of R9 285 graphics card in front of you. When you stop and think about it, it makes sense, especially since almost the whole range of the Radeon 200 series has been used as a base of the refreshed model for the Radeon 300 series. The only thing you have to pay attention to is making sure you have the corresponding Radeon 300 series graphics card model to pair with your Radeon 200 series graphics card model or vice versa, of course. For example, the R9 380 is based on the R9 285 model or to be more precise the Tonga GPU, so they are literally the same graphics card models and that's why they will work together in Crossfire. It's as simple as that example and that will also be our case scenario. All of this, so to speak, feature is not something that AMD officially announced, but with the latest AMD 15.7 drivers, this kind of pairing allegedly became possible, so we went to try it out with our own hands and put those two cars together on our X99 platform. We put everything together, boot it up and right away upon opening the GPU-Z software you can see that we have Crossfire enabled and our R9-285 and R9-380 working together side by side. Going to the AMD's Catalyst control panel, everything seems to be registered and properly paired as with any other Crossfire setup. Of course, this wouldn't be it if we didn't check out the performance and looking at the results as you can see it here, they are really painting a picture of a dual GPU setup made out of two R9-285 or in this case a one R9-285 and a one R9-380. Everything was scaling as expected from 50 to 90% in comparison to a single R9-285, of course depending on the game or the synthetic benchmark, but all in all what you see here is basically your usual AMD scaling performance when it comes to Crossfire. When we draw a conclusion, this is a very positive outcome for all those users who are maybe looking to upgrade their PC with a second GPU in the near future. Now they don't need to search for a same and older graphics card model from the Radeon 200 series, but rather just buy a corresponding model from the new Radeon 300 series. Of course, down the line and in the end you could just buy a used Radeon 200 series model or find yourself a new one on a sale if the stock will still exist, but not all users think alike and someone will rather buy a new model from the Radeon 300 series and pair it up with the older model, just like in our case. Thank you once again guys for checking out our video on sort of mid-busting the topic of mutually cross-firing together the Radeon 200 and Radeon 300 series. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions in regards of the next video and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.